Michael Alexander, our referee. I think one thing you can say about Anthony Yard is that he's not going to be as elusive as Lyndon Arthur. But I think another thing you can say about Anthony Yard is that in all probability he's going to punch harder than Lyndon Arthur. And Dex Spellman isn't always the hardest man to find. Good analysis there, John. Lyndon Arthur beats Spellman by hitting and moving. That's a clever contest. It's, uh, Anthony Yard certainly doesn't have that movement. Holds the centre of the ring a lot more, holds his ground. Spellman never been stopped. He has been down against Joel McIntyre in the Ultimate Boxer series and also against Scott Westgarth, who went on to beat him. Westgarth tragically losing his life after collapsing after that one back in 2018. And Dex Spellman very much carrying on the memory of Scott Westgarth. And you see on the seat of his shorts, he has the name Scotty in green letters there he carries the name of scott westgarth into the ring in tribute to the man who beat him and lost his life fantastic tribute isn't it to scott westgarth but here's Spell spellman what he's got to watch out for john is obviously the fast right hand from anthony yard that jab of spellman's got to be sharp he's using that double jab which is okay a single jab if it's slow then what Yard does, he, he, he picks you off at that right-hand counter, so that's why Spellman's just doubling it up, so that just negates that right hand a little bit more. And as long as that lead hand of Spellman's is, is nice and sharp, then it just creates a bit of a problem um, for Yard to land that right, fast right hand of his. Half-jokingly, Dex Spellman, in an interview earlier this week, said that he thought Anthony Yard was surrounded by, by yes-men and that had he fought the same opponents that Anthony Yard had fought, then he would also have the same record as Anthony Yard. Well, that's a, a debatable point, but he started this round quite well, Dex Bellman. Anthony Yard out of the ring, of course, for a while. Spellman, as I said, was fighting just six weeks ago against Lyndon Arthur, and Spellman maybe, well, he's certainly got to be more battle-hardened at this point. He wouldn't, wouldn't be a big surprise if certainly in the early stages he were to look a little bit the sharper guy. I agree, and also obviously he stayed in camp, so he's, actually, he's been on his weight, hasn't he? So he hasn't, his weight hasn't fluctuated really, he's, he's stayed into, into camp and he's more or less on his weight throughout that period. Carl Greaves is talkative manager and trainer certainly has been talking up the chances of his man to pull off what would be a huge upset. He's done well in this opening round. We've not seen a lot from Anthony Yard yet, just struggling to find his range. He's thrown in a couple of big right hands which have been off the target, and Spellman probably taking that opening round. It's our main event at the York Hall here in Bethnal Green. Anthony Yard up against Dex Spellman. Spellman, a massive outsider, but did he win that opening round, Richie? Yeah, probably just did enough to win it. Very close, nothing, could have been 10 10, but no, I'll go, I'll go Spellman, just nicking it. Yard just a little bit slow to find his range in that opening round. No great shot there, he's been out of the ring for a long time. A lot of people suggested to me that somebody like Spellman is precisely the sort of opponent who would have, it would have served him well to have gone in against somebody like this before he challenged for the world title against Kovalev. But of course, another way of putting it is that you get the opportunity to fight somebody like Kovalev and you don't turn it down, you have to no. take the big opportunity and he got yeah. very well paid for it and almost pulled it off. A bit more experience than you would have pulled it off. He had to go for it in the eighth round. It was, it was probably a punch or two away from victory, wasn't it? It was so close. We will have learned so much from that. Well, patience is always a bit of a watchword with Yard. He doesn't normally go for broke until the opportunity presents itself. And typically, he's making a fairly cagey start to this fight. Yeah, he's just feeling his way into the contest, John. He's not lead on. 
Yard slightly the taller man, only by an inch or so, and not much difference between them in terms of reach either. It's interesting after that fight against Kovalev, Andre Ward, who knows a little bit about it, says that in his opinion, Yard's too heavily muscled, and that, that was one of the reasons that he was found wanting for stamina in the closing stages. Well, I asked Tunde Jay about that earlier in the week, and he said, I promise you, I swear, that in all the time he's worked with me, Anthony Yard has never done weight. It's just how his physique naturally is. Yeah, interesting words, weren't they, from, from Andre Ward? A bit better now from Yard there. A couple of good, sharp punches. Like I say, Yard just waiting to land this right hand. It's that double jab from Spellman that's just mm, making things awkward for Yard to land that right hand counter. I think Yard's actually in, enjoying it, John, to be quite honest. Good to be back in the ring. He hasn't fought since February, remember. Yeah, he was working quite nicely behind the jab in this second round, more effectively than he did in the first. And again, you see there Spellman trying to double up on that left-hand lead. He's closing the, 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 the ring space down better, isn't he, in this, in this round. Went to the yard. Lead hand and lead... He's closing the gap down. The right hand was cocked, but he hasn't landed the big one yet. Only a matter of time, though, you sense. The famous Bethnal Green venue, your call. Slightly differently done out tonight. Minus audience, of course, apart from people directly involved in the fights. Anthony Yard and Dex Bellman here, and a better round for Yard in round two. Yeah, I think so. I think um, he's just um, brushing off the cobwebs now, isn't he? And he had a slightly better round in that second round. Thought the first round went to Spellman. But Yard just starting to get to grips with things. Part of the trap he sets um, Yard is he's got this low left hand and as he's walking forward, then you would think then he's open to the right hand, but you try catching him with that punch, he's got very fast reactions. Look, see there. Yeah, very, right on cue. Right on cue, very sharp reactions, and that's what that's the trap he's setting. His hands are low, he wants you to throw the shot because he's going to come back with a fast counter. Counter punching on the front foot as he's going forward. When he lands that right hand, boy, don't well, most yeah, of the opponents you know. know about it. Boom, there you go, that's a shot. Didn't miss by a lot there. Spellman acquitting himself well, though, so far. Yeah, as long as he keeps that double jab going. A single jab is its a lot easier than to counter with the right hand, but that double jab just, just makes it a little bit awkward for Yard. Oh, that's a nice shot from Spellman, left hand. Yard taking it well, though, did yeah, no more than blink. And he just come back as well, Yard did, didn't he, with his own little left hook. When you're throwing a hook, John, obviously you've got to be a little bit closer to the target. And unless you, you know, you move out the way very quickly, then you just open yourself to a counter if you're a little bit closer than you should be. You see, that's what he can't afford to do, Spellman, there. Slow attack, one single shot. And that's how Yard then... That's bread and butter stuff for, for Anthony Yard. Slow this attack with a single punch. Just signs that Yard is beginning to walk him down a bit here and get into range. You hear the power of those shots. Even when they land on arms or gloves, the sheer power of the punch of Yard is audible. Not a lot between them, but there's a nice lead from Spellman. Not a lot between them, but just the impression that Yard is starting to find his range a little more here in the third. 
patient, but beginning to find some more powerful shots. And he's making Spellman work as well. He's actually making Spellman push by going forward. Better round, I thought, for Yard. Just a little bit of damage around one of the eyes of Jack Spellman. Not quite sure what Anthony Yard said when he was on his way back to his corner, but he certainly had a little word with Dex Spellman. See, there's that lovely counter there. Slow attack from Spellman, and he gets punished. So you've got it two rounds to one now in Yard's favour, yeah? Yeah, just starting to take over a little bit, Yard. I thought that was a good round for him, that last round. Ten rounder, remember this one. Important for Spellman to keep that right hand nice and high as well. You watch Yard, he gets close enough, then he whips that left duck. He tries to get it around the right glove of Spellman. So to keep it locked to his chin. Protect the temple area. If it drifts down, then Yard will find that gap. And Yard looking to double up on the jab now as well. Just measuring the distance you see Yard with that, that jab. That's all it's doing. Just measuring, looking for the bigger shot that's to follow. Yeah, and if he's jabbed, well, that's a nice little right hand from Spellman, but the jab to the body from Yard when it comes, if those gloves drop as a result, then you see that big right hand. Good little reminder, though, from Spellman that he's still in there. Oh, good shot. Used to have a band, you know, Dex Spellman. Tells me that he's not bothering with that at the moment. I think uh, boxing, the more important thing. Lead single, wasn't he, Tommy? John, he, he was, yeah. 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 Not your sort of stuff, I don't think. It's not, uh, <laughs> not very, not very Bing Crosby. <laughs> you don't know my sort of stuff. There's well, a nice right-hand counter from Yard. Spellman takes it well, though. He's finding the range now better, though, Anthony Yard. Yeah, just peppering him with the jab. He's just measuring the distance and gap. Spellman needs, probably needs a little bit more head movement. He's taking the shots well on the gloves, but it's the shots that come around the corners. Right up the left hooks. Spellman was looking for the body shot and a right hand of his own there. Yard was cute to it though, saw it coming, was able to just pretty much slip the punch. That's good from Spellman. Perhaps heard his trainer, Carl Greaves, encouraging him, telling, to, telling him to keep the work rate up, keep the pressure going. Meanwhile, Tunde perhaps also in the background there, telling Anthony Yard to look for an uppercut. Frank Greaves working in the corner with Dex Bellman tonight as the cuts man. Interestingly, he was the man in the corner in Chelyabinsk when Yard fought Kovalev. So, Yard taking rounds two and three. How did you give round four? Did he do enough? I think he did enough, John, yeah, to be quite honest. I thought he, he won the round. Spellman coming forward. This wasn't a bad little attack from him, but then gets caught. That right hand of his. It's a nice right hand counter from Yard. Not a lot between them, though. These rounds are close, right? That these was. rounds are close. Spellman giving a good account of himself again as he did against yeah. Lyndon Arson. Round Ten one. rounder, we move now. Where are we? Round five? Indeed. As our little graphic reminds us.
love that quote this week where somebody said to Anthony Yard, are you looking to send out a message to Lyndon Arthur? Are you trying to impress him? And he said, Lyndon Arthur's not my girlfriend. I don't try and impress Lyndon Arthur. <laughs> Work from Spellman. That was a nice little slip from Spellman there. He needs a few more of them as he's coming forward. He's just prepared to take these light jabs. Just needs to move his head a little bit more and probably try and come back with his own counter. But again, that double jab making things awkward for Anthony Yard. Not too many right hands have been thrown by Anthony Yard so far. Spellman trying to maintain pressure. A couple of jabs again, followed by the right hand. So that's the shot you've got to watch. It just comes round the corner of the of his left hand. That's better from Spellman. Yard perhaps, as a result of what happened in Russia, just a bit mindful to maintain and conserve a little bit of energy. Had to walk into a solid left hand there from Spellman. And another. Now, is he going to have a word no, about... Someone's gum shield's come out. Oh, right, OK. It's yards, I think. I think it's been a fair round from Spellman. I think he's up the work rate. Right. I think he's done a lot better in this okay. round up to now. Yards looked a little bit rusty tonight. As, well, there's no surprise there. <laughs> Everybody's been a little bit rusty, I think, as a result of those months of inactivity. That's more like it. That's the power shot, the right hand from Yard. And another. Well, two or three meaty body shots in the closing stages of that round but it was a round which Spellman had done really well with for the first couple of minutes. I think so, I think Spellman did well there. The last 30 or 40 seconds, Yard started to, to come back into it a lot more, but for me, Spellman, I, I thought he won the round. So 3-2 on your card at the moment in Yard's favour. Yeah, that's Dex, right, John. But Dex Spellman's right in this. As Carl Greaves and the man himself promised that they would be. Well, he fought Lyndon Archer, didn't he, back in July with the 12 rounds, so he's in good condition, he's kept his weight, kept on his weight, he's more or less kept in camp. Arthur, a, a jab and move type merchant, yard a power puncher and a lot more static. Looks to lure his man in and then throw those big punches. And if the judges have it the same as Richie, then close at the halfway stage. There's that big punch again to the body. Yard promised that Spellman would be hit with power that he hadn't experienced before. Yeah, got the big shots going in from Yard now. There's, a There's nice another. Yeah. Well, he's a tough kid, you know, this Spellman. He really is. Soaks up the pressure. Hard man. These are the rounds that Anthony Yard needs anyway. He hasn't got since February. It's good from Spellman. Nice solid left hand, getting approval from his corner. And again. A little bit of blood coming from the nose, though, of Spellman. There's 
the power shots. Body crunches from Yard. Are they going to start taking a bit of a toll? Uh, just going through the gears here now. Anthony Yard, some big shots going in. And he's starting to unload. Quality punches here. Good counter from Spellman. And another. But here in the sixth round, Yard on the front foot and looking to dominate. Good work again, though, off those ropes from Spellman. Oh, that was a good right hand to the body there, then followed up with that left hook from Yard. Good reply from Spellman. This is a cracking fight, John. Good round, this. Yeah, good round. Oh, and a right hand from Yard. He thought he'd got him going and almost ran after him to try and follow it up. Spellman regrouped and he's trying to fire back. Two more big right hands from Yard. Spellman, such a tough guy though, taking them all, but two more land and another. Referee has a good look, looks look as Spellman goes down for the first time. Cumulative effect and looking a bit groggy as he gets back to his feet. And the referee says no. Dex Spellman's furious. He said, I could have continued, but Anthony Yard given the stoppage victory. And the big bellow of Lions in the camp. And in round six, he gets the stoppage win he wants, but Dex Bellman thinks he's been badly done to. Now, fair stoppage or not, well, Richie? You know what, it's, it's, it's difficult. Um, I actually feel for Spellman there. I mean, Yard actually went through the gear, didn't he? And he really accelerated and he put some great work together there, but you just have to feel for Spellman. We know how tough he is. I think he, he, he would have probably got to the end of the round. But you know what, John, I'm not going to argue with it because at the end of the day, the referee's closer to him, he's looking into his eyes, he didn't like what he sees, I know he's on his feet, it's always going to be controversial when he's stopped on his feet, but you've got to go with the referee there, but I just feel for Spellman. Mark of a good fighter though, the ability to accelerate and to go through the gears when you get the opportunity to make the most of it and come through and come through against a tough man, which is precisely what Anthony Yard did. Yeah, he just upped it, didn't he? Caught him with the right hand, then he closes the gap really quickly with the feet, and then keeps the pressure on, there's another right hand there. Whipping the right hands in. And he's done what no man has done before. Dex Spellman never stopped, but then, as Anthony Yard promised beforehand, he's maybe never been hit by anybody who punches as hard as this guy. Very true, you just feel for Spellman because he's a tough, tough fella. He took some big shots and he's never been stopped before. It was that one just round the side by the ear. It uh, obviously caused him to go down, but the referee looks into his eye, didn't like it, has called it off. A few loud shouts from Anthony Yard, who's uh, prone to give a bit of a audible lions in the camp at some point, and I don't doubt we'll hear that in the next minute or two, but for now it is another stoppage win, and ultimately, after a little bit of a rusty start, he came through pretty impressively. Now oh, they are, Lions in the camp, and so too is Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 42 seconds of round number six. Our referee in charge, Michael Alexander, stops the contest as the red corner was in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner, Anthony, the beast from the East, Yard. Another brave effort from Dex Spellman, just as we saw against Lyndon Arthur, but this time against a real world-class operator. Anthony Yard, well, a bit of a slow start, but once he found the range, well, you saw the rest. Six had the wow factor, most certainly, John, didn't it? But I've got a new nickname for Dex Spellman, and it's borrowed from the opposition. Lionheart, great against Lyndon Arthur, and